How about now, my little long-eared cherub? Is it working now? Not at all. And find another endearment. Cherubs are fat baby humans with freakish wings. I knew that, sweetheart. I just didn't know you knew. Time's almost up. If you can't show the judges something soon, you'll be disqualified. Panic time! Our massively impressive golem isn't working, and the judges are waiting. It functioned perfectly back in the lab. I'm at a loss. Having the best pilot and the best pilot golem interface won't matter if it just stands there. I was sure we'd win. Snaff was a golem mancer after all. Let me take a look. I know this baby like the schematics were tattooed on the inside of my eyelids. Every time I'd blink, it's a review session. Well, there's your problem. The MiG's capacitors are missing. Someone forgot to put them in. That's your job, Kaz. I pilot, you maintain. It's a good thing I love you so much. Because I love you a little less each time your scatterbrain sets us back. I love you too, my dulcet-toned honey viper. But I put the capacitors in. Someone must have swiped them, because I would not forget. Not after your last cheerful chastisement. Pitch woo on your own time. We must have left the capacitors in the Hydron Unit lab staging area. Hurry! Retrieve those capacitors at once! Sure, I've heard of Snaff, but I still don't get why he gets a whole prize named after him. Because he was one of the greatest geniuses who ever lived, you empty-headed homunculus. He revolutionized Gollomancy. He blazed trails so brilliant, most people can't even see his footsteps, let alone follow in them! So, friend... Hey! Stop right there, you pusillanimous pinheads! That's our stuff! Was your stuff. Now it's ours. But don't worry, we'll leave you a beating in exchange. I don't have long. I'm failing quick. Enough! Cease and desist all hostilities! Now, what's going on here? These inquest poltroons snuck into our work area, sabotaged our massively impressive golem, and stole our equipment. Calumny and slander! We were called in to consult on a SNAF prize entry, and when we did, this blaggard attacked us! Now, now. Things get heated when a prize is on the line. Let's all just calm down, count to ten, and get back to work. No harm done, eh? No harm done? They vandalized our workspace. And our MIG. That is a serious accusation. On behalf of the Arcane Council, I suggest you file a complaint after the contest is over. Off you go now. Off! Enjoy those capacitors. And good luck. You're going to need it. I was thinking about joining the inquest. They never let morality get in the way the of parts. progress. They'd never I'll take you. Them and we'll be ready you to go. know what morality means. Hey, you Embrace fixed it. Simplicity. Nice work. Now we can show off our improved Golem to pilot interface. It's not as splashy as some entries, but it's revolutionary. The SNAP prize is as good as ours. Not if we don't hurry it up. They're waiting now. So get out there and strut our stuff.
Out of my way. We've got a prize to win. Behold, a revolutionary leap forward in Gollum to pilot interfacing. The massively impressive Gollum. The biomagical psionic mind link is two-way, instantaneous, and uninterruptible. Our pilot doesn't even need hands. She just has to think, and the Gollum responds. No more specialized training or hours of practice. Just hop in, think, and away you go. Very impressive. How did you handle the problem of feedback? Every time I've tried something similar, the pilot's brain got fried. Our breakthrough in Gollum interface dampening technology keeps the user's mind safe from harm. Well, it's not as eye-catching as Teo's floating Griswold, but your MIG is quite impressive. I've seen enough, Counselor. Our choice is clear. The invention that best embodies SNAF's legacy is the College of Dynamics MIG. I quite agree. Seamless integration of machine and user has been an unachievable goal until now. Well done. As far as I know, only the inquest has ever had any success, and they have to brutalize sentient beings to achieve it. That was the most difficult challenge we faced. False modesty aside, our work here represents a quantum leap forward in Golomancy. Which is why, on behalf of the judges, I'm pleased to award Vronk's crew the SNAF Prize. Let's all... By the eternal alchemy, what's that thing doing now? Vronk, we have a problem. Something's definitely wrong in there. Doxa, what's going on? It's not responding. It's malfunction. I mean, error. Arg! What's happening to me? So the winning entry was a crazed counselor killing Gollum. Well, if we disqualified every potentially lethal entry, there'd be no contestants left. But the MIG was sabotaged. Our entry was tampered with. I don't know why, but the inquest... Stop right there. Every time a stasis servo slips a gear, people blame inquest saboteurs. I'm sick of it. You just took the SNAF prize. Learn to win gracefully. Instead of finding scapegoats for your own inadequacy, you should be tracking down and dismantling that amok golem you unleashed. And when you do, I'd love the chance to study it. Impressive work. Right on up to the point it started smashing things at random. That will soon be rectified. Back to the lab, crew. We can track the MIG from there. With a bit of luck, we can stop it before it does any serious damage. <laughs>